Here we go. Starting off, game one, Gaia versus Dansk. DP Masters Cup. Let's get started. Gaia with the unfortunate low spawn. Manages to pick up lots of weapons and... Waiting to grab that mega health. Nice delay there as... I don't think he realizes Dansk is waiting on the second yellow armor. Very low impact damage as Dansk tries to bait Gaia off with the Ion Cannon. Gaia, nice opportunistic play there. Getting some damage with the Bolt Rifle, stealing the yellow armor as well as the frag. Gaia in a great position here to take this red armor. He's going to try to do as much damage to Dansk as he can before that happens. Gaia. Pushing in with the aggression in the same position, catching Dansk on that lower yellow armor. Battle for the red armor coming up as Gaia quickly ends it with two beautiful prediction rockets on the teleporter. I'm surprised we're seeing so little of the jumps on the sides of the uh, red armor room to get up to the pillars rather than the teleporter. Seems like teleporters have been uh, Extremely dangerous place to be so far in this tournament. Gaia coming face first into a fistful of rocket, but also replies with one of his own, and it's a trade off. Oh my gosh! The most unfortunate rocket bounce you'll ever see in reflexes. Gaia bounces up, takes the yellow armor, and gets the melee kill on Dan. Gaia now trying to force Dance back into that lower position. Dance putting himself there to take the Mega Health. Good awareness on that timing there. It's almost like he timed the Mega. What a beautiful rocket by Gaia sends Dansk to his grave. His aggression by Gaia is hard to beat right now. He's just forcing back with the Iron Cannon on every pathway out of that red armor area. Interesting choice of the bolt rifle there. The rockets were available for a quick pop-up, and it's going to cost Gaia the frag. As Dansk is slowly getting back into this game with a two-frag start. As I mentioned, a red armor. Dansk, not enough pressure there on Gaia, giving him the free yellow armor. Dansk needs to make more high-impact damage with that bolt rifle. He's going to be playing so passively. There it is. Only one health, just barely missing the frag on Gaia. Actually, pretty unfortunate. Still time to follow it up, though, as Gaia only has 26 health. Dansk knows it. Swap him back over to his perspective as he does pick up that red armor. Trying to pick up some of these spawn frags from Gaia, but Gaia's not giving it to him. A beautiful plasma rifle kill with no armor. That's Gaia, both yellow armors. A very healthy stack here to come into this red armor fight. I right, completely giving up that red armor. I was expecting more of a contention there, but it's like he's gonna come in hot with the ro with the ion cannon right afterwards. Some really nice high impact damage there to dance because I continues to lay on the pressure with that ion cannon. Dropping dance down in the mega health room. Dansk just barely missing the frag against Gaia. Finally, some great aggression there from Dansk because he does pick up that frag. Can't grab the red armor though as Gaia with a beautiful spawn frag with the bolt rifle. Never a safe grab on that red armor. There's always that open spawn right on top of the bolt rifle where you can just sit there and watch that red armor. Really great job by Dance here, applying pressure with that rocket launcher, even into the ion cannon. He knows that, especially with this experimental rule set, that rocket launcher will out DPS the ion cannon. He can land at least a few of them. And there's the Dance we all know and love. Bolt rifles aplenty. He is slowly but surely coming back into this game. 
Oh yeah, responding with a bolt rifle of his own though. This is gonna be a scrappy fight for the red. Dansk, all he's got is a shotgun. Does manage to survive and take Gaia's armor down to almost zero. Right use the teleporter there. Catching Gaia off guard as Dansk still pushing in with almost no health and he does pick up the frag. Great opportunistic play there by Dansk. Despite having such a low stack. Another great play. Using that teleporter at the perfect time. I think a lot of players aren't used to that teleport. Running right past the opening without any sort of rocket or grenade delay. The Battle of Titans, Gaia's Ion Cannon versus Dance Bolt Rifle. Gaia wins this day. Very smart decision to switch to that rocket launcher and push Dance off the pillar there. As Gaia continues to follow up with the pressure. Dance with some very effective shotgun. He could take this frag. Runs out of ammo with the bolt rifle. He had the angle. He had the guaranteed frag, but no ammo left. The consequence here coming out of the experimental rule set, this low ammo count of the bolt rifle actually playing a big impact on Dance's ability to just run around and bolt the whole game. Imagine that. Great delay by Gaia going through the teleporter, faking out Dansk. He does manage to land a bolt, but Gaia in a great position here to try to take this red armor. It's a rocket fight. Dance comes out on top. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the stack to survive his own rocket, and Gaia slips away with just seven health. Doesn't even have enough health to deny himself that yellow armor, or deny Dance the yellow armor. See uh, Gaia right now. A pretty incredible ion cannon accuracy, 41%. Almost 2,000 damage so far. That is a really high impact weapon for him right now. Not to mention this bolt rifle. Dansk slowly letting this game slip away from him as he is failing to slow down the pace. Gaia playing very comfortably right where he wants to be, but Dansk really needs to slow down the pace of this game. He simply cannot compete with Gaia's Ion Cannon accuracy right now. with just a minute and a half left in this game. At the rate things are going, Gaia is looking pretty confident here. And there's the GG. Gaia taking game one here on Shadow Falls, 21 to nine. There's the stats, so we don't see them. Great ball rifle accuracy by Dansk as well. It just wasn't enough to keep, keep up with uh, Gaia's aggression. Across the board, just really high damage. <laughs> it's a strange day of reflex indeed when Dansk is the one calling other people bolty homeless. Game 2 coming up 